you tell them one thing. Just one thing, dude. Yo, what is going on Raider Nation? It's your boy Samor Raider back at it again with another video. And today, I got the official 2021 schedule. No more leak, no more rumors going around. We got the official schedule. Well, it came out yesterday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But today, I'm going to be going over all the games and giving you guys my prediction. My full prediction for this season for the Las Vegas Raiders. And is the Raiders a playoff team? Well, we'll find out after I give you guys my predictions. <laughs> now, initially, when the schedule came out, we found out that the Ravens was going to come over to Las Vegas on Monday Night Football. A lot of fans probably went over to StubHub, went over to Ticketmaster, and wanted to find out how much the seats were going to be. And goddamn, the prices is way too high. They need to cut it. And the way these prices been looking right now, if I ever go to one of these games, my nose is going to be bleeding because your boy is going to be seeing the game from sky high. Unless your boy get the hookup from somebody. But that's besides the point. A lot of the tickets right now are going for about $700 a piece, a pop. I mean, it's doable. I know some Raider fans can do it. Some other people are going to complain about it because it's not Oakland's prices. And you guys got to understand that Allegiant Stadium is different. This is a state-of-the-art stadium. This is not the O.co. I understand that was traditional one now but the prices is going to be much much different now i believe that the first game in las vegas is only inflated because a lot of people are trying to make up for their psls and whatnot but throughout the season i believe that those prices are going to start declining so a lot of you guys are going to have a chance at making some of these games and if you guys can't make a las vegas game then you guys could go to our home away from home in la against the Chargers because you know good and goddamn well that the raider nation is going to show up in la that's basically our second home you know in socal so if you guys can't make a las vegas game then head over there to socal california but i will try to go to a game sometime this season maybe one or two games like i told you guys before i'm only two hours away from las vegas baby so i'm gonna try to make my way to some of these games and the good thing about las vegas you can go over there and you can go tailgate in the parking lot and then you could go watch the game from the casinos you could go watch it at a bar you could even watch it outside of the stadium maybe they're gonna throw it up on a big screen and we could just sit there and chillax and just enjoy the the festivities out there in las vegas but enough yeah around you guys came over here to see your boy go over the whole schedule and give you guys my prediction on this 2021 season now let's start off with the preseason games the first game in las vegas allegiance stadium with fans is officially gonna be against the seattle sea chickens they're coming over to las vegas in the first game of preseason and i have the raiders taking that w week one of preseason now week two we head over to los angeles california yay against the rams and i have the raiders taking an l because I don't know. Maybe a lot of players are not going to play in week two. Now in week three, we're going to head over to San Francisco. I I mean Santa Clara. And we're going to face the 49ers. And we're going to whoop they candy ass all over the Bay Area. And show them why we still run the Bay, baby. So the Raiders record in preseason is going to be two and one. We only have three preseason games because we have 17 games in the official 2021 season. Now before I go over the Raiders whole 2021 schedule, there was a video that dropped yesterday with Charles Woodson and whatnot going over and releasing the schedule. It was pretty dope. And it's on the Raiders YouTube channel. If you guys haven't checked it out already, go and check it out and support our Raiders. I'm pretty sure you guys are already supporting them or whatnot. But go and check it out. That was a dope video. So week one, under the bright lights of Las Vegas in Sin City, the Raiders are going to go toe to toe with the Baltimore Ravens. And man, I'm just like Lamar Jackson. I'm shitting my pants with excitement to finally see the Raiders play in Allegiant Stadium with a crowd full of fans or the Raider Nation chanting Raiders 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 as we slap and whoop their candy ass all over Allegiant Stadium as we go up and down the whole strip yelling Raiders after we go 1-0 and oh in week one so I have the Raiders taking this W in week one now I know that the Ravens are a tough opponent they're not the easiest opponent they have a solid defense their offense is just as electric but with the Raiders opening up in front of the millions <laughs> 10 millions of Raider fans watching at home. I'm pretty sure they're not going to let us down and they're going to just win, baby. And week two, we head over to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and our Corvette, Corvette and face the TikTok boys and Ben Roethlisberger. And we're going to take it L right here. Now, I know you guys are going to be mad at me. And I said this last time, the Raiders have not done well over there in Pittsburgh. Every time we played in Oakland, we've won. But every time we play away in Pittsburgh, it's just been a tough game. So I have the Raiders taking a L this week and week two. But don't worry, 
sorry, Raider Nation, because the next week we're coming back home against the Miami Dolphins and we're going to whoop their candy ass all over Allegiant Stadium as well and take another W right here. I don't care if my cousin Tua Tonga Vailoa is playing for the Dolphins. I'm sorry to say it, he's not going to be my cousin on week three because I'm going to be going for my Raiders and we're going to take this W right here. This is going to be the Kenny and Drake revenge game, even though, you know, he played for the Cardinals last. But Kenny and Drake, I'm going to see him running wild all over Allegiant Stadium as well. So I'm giving the Raiders a W here. Now, week four, we're going to Los Angeles against the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, I, I see that it says it's an away game. But let's be honest, Raider Nation. This is a home game for the Raiders. And we're going to take a W here against Justin Herbert and the boys over there in Los Angeles. And the Raiders is going to show why we run SoCal California because the Raider Nation runs wild. You and I both know that Los Angeles SoFi Stadium is going to be filled with a sea of silver and black. And we're going to be chanting Raider Nation all throughout Los Angeles. And we're going to take this W, like I said before. So the Raiders right now are sitting at three and one. Now, week five, we head over back to Las Vegas and we go toe to toe with Khalil Mack and his Chicago Bears. Now, the Bears, the last time we faced them, we held it down. Josh Jacobs did his thing against them, and Khalil Mack was held to zero sacks, no sacks on Derek Carr, and I believe he's going to do the same exact thing in this game. He's not going to get any sacks on Derek Carr, but the thing that he's going to take away from this game is a W because I have the Raiders taking an L against the Chicago Bears. Now week six, again, the Raiders hit the road and go over to mile high, and I don't know who their quarterback's going to be. I don't care if it's Aaron Rodgers, Teddy Bridgewater, or Drew Locke. The Raiders are still laying the smack it down all over their candy ass and taking a W here at Mile High Stadium and we are sitting pretty right now before we head back to Las Vegas again. It's like we're going, coming back, going, coming back, going. Now in week seven, the Raiders are gonna be coming back to Las Vegas quicker than Aslan did in Narnia and we're gonna expose the Philadelphia Eagles like they did EDP and take the W right here. Now I know that they say fly equals fly, but no, this week is gonna be die, Eagles die because the Raiders are just winning, baby. Now in week eight, just like in sync, it's gonna be our bye, bye, bye week. And we are sitting pretty right now at five and two, but you guys know the Raiders. We always start off hot, but can we finish strong? That's what she said. <laughs> now coming off of the bye week and week nine, we head over to New York City against the New York Giants and get a New York W. Now in week 10, the Raiders head back to Las Vegas as we go toe to toe with the reigning, defending AFC West champions, the Kansas City Chiefs under the bright lights of Sin City because we're gonna be on prime time on Sunday night football in front of the millions. And millions of fans watching at home and I have the Raiders taking a W right here now I know a lot of people can say yo that's cap we're not gonna beat the Chiefs yes we can with a newly revamped defense and a newly revamped offense I do trust that we can handle the Kansas City Chiefs in week 10 now week 11 the Raiders get to sit down relax in Las Vegas as we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Cincinnati Tigers with Joe Burrow with Jamar Chase with Joe Mixon with yeah, I think that's about it. But the Raiders are going to take another W right here, and that's back-to-back -back Ws for our Raiders. Now, week 12 is the week of Thanksgiving, and the Raiders are going to be live on primetime again. And we're going to be facing the Dallas Cowboys at AT&T Stadium. And like I said before, I have the Raiders taking an L against the Cowboys. Now, you guys can kill me in the comments. I hope the Raiders do win, but... I have the Raiders taking an L here in Dallas. Now, week 13, we head over back to Las Vegas against the team with no name, the Washington football team. And with their defense and how good they are, and they are one of the underrated teams in the NFL, I have the Raiders taking another L right here against the Washington football team. Now, week 14, the Raiders head over to Arrowhead Stadium against the Kansas City Chiefs. But this time, I have the Raiders falling and taking an L right here. It's going to be a hard-fought battle, but at the end of the day, I do believe that the Raiders and the Chiefs are going to split their series this season. And I know it's kind of tough right now because that's three straight L's for the Raiders right now and it's not looking good. But like a wise man once said, last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back and the Raiders are going to do just that. And week 15 against the Cleveland Browns and we're going to brown all over them at First Energy Arena and we're going to take a W right here. Now, I don't know if it's called First Energy Arena, but 
who, who gives a fuck? Now week 16, the Raiders head right back over to Las Vegas as we go mano y mano against the Denver Donkeys the day after Christmas. Now I know that they're going to be put on Santa Claus's naughty list, so the Raiders are going to do Santa Claus some justice, and they're going to shine up this L real nice. Let's turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up all their candy asses because we're going to get the W here against the Denver Donkeys. Now week 17, the Raiders are going to be flying over to Indianapolis against the Colts, and unfortunately, I have the Raiders taking an L right here. I don't know why, I just don't want to be biased in giving the Raiders W's every single week, and I had to give the Raiders some type of L here, so we're, we're going to take an L here. I'm not proud of it, but I had to do what I had to do. But don't worry, Raider Nation, because the Raiders are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Los Angeles Chargers, and I know that 12 of their fans are going to head over to Allegiant Stadium and waste $700 of their money, their hard-earned money, because they're going to see their team get their ass beat by the Raiders. And we're going to end the season off with a W. Now, my final prediction, my final record stays the same from my league schedule record prediction because we're going to be sitting right here at 11-6. and six. Now, our home games, we're going to be going 7-2. and two. Our away games, we're going to be going 4-4. Four and four. Now, I don't know who the Raiders are going to be playing in the first round of the playoffs, but we'll find out about that later on this season. We'll see who's going to match up and who's going to actually make the playoffs. But one thing's for sure. I know that my team's going to be in the playoffs. Yes, sir. So Raider Nation, what do you think our final record is going to be in 2021? How do you think about our whole schedule and how it was, you know, mapped out? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys today on this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel and you're a part of the Raider Nation and you love the Las Vegas Raiders, then hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this one. And if you guys want to help support this channel, in a great way then hit that join button down below and become an exclusive member until then this is your boy Samoa Raider and your boy is yeah